So welcome today. Thank you. We are so delighted that you're here. Thank you. And racing on the walls with so much joy again. Thank you so much. It's one of my very favourite parts of my role here is meeting artists, but especially when they're as gorgeous as Janine and they are very, very professional. They always do what they say they're going to do. Totally organised and come up with spectacular things to enjoy. Thank you. My children might not agree with you, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and deep in conversations is Janine's, of course, the last exhibition with us, but it's full of all that we love about Janine. Focusing on the special memories that we create throughout our lives. And I think it's so important to focus on those because with everything going on, sometimes you get caught up in the world and what's going on in your own life and you don't take the time to make those special memories and I think we should be conscious of making those in our everyday lives with as many people as we can. That's so amazing. thank you for that reminder. Thank okay. you. Janine, I'll hand it thank you. to you and share your... Welcome everybody. Jordan, thank you, and Joe, um, and Lara, and Gary, and David. Um, Thank you for coming along. And this is my last show, but maybe not my last show in Perth, but it's both there. Last show at Jarrah, but last you did show say You did say Jarrah. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so every, I guess you know I'm from the Mornington Peninsula in Melbourne, and um, not quite as amazing as this, but be equally beautiful with its brief beaches. And um, I've been able to come up this time and share some time with some good friends of mine. This is a girlfriend of mine, Liz. She's also an artist. And I've been with my special friends, um, Nabila and Nereus, and they've been showing us a through Margaret River, absolutely stunning. We went to a beach which I was trying to tell these lovely people here was called Narrabah. Narrabah. Was that close? No. Okay. <laughs> stunning. Stunning. So beautiful. It is beautiful. So this show, as Joe has said, is called Deep in Conversation, is about the conversations we have without actually saying anything. They're the silent conversations we have with people that might be with the look of an eye, the admiration of um, understanding someone, of um, an adoring glance without actually speaking, but also treasuring um, moments that are um, captured in different ways, like fond memories like you talked about, like a lot of my paintings have love and love letters in them and they're like a message that we don't say out loud but we hold in our hearts and often pass on to people in other ways. In a lot of my work, I have birds which are, they have conversations in my paintings. They're my messengers who send messages all around from one life to the next or from one place to the next. So, and in this group of work, it's just about that connectivity of understanding that there's conversations we can have without actually saying anything. And um, to be brave, if you do want to say it, but if you don't, most people know how you feel if you're live life with your heart on your sleeve. So that's where this work is from. And as um, Jo said, I've actually been painting full time for 22 years. And I've met some incredible people and painted some amazing stories from their life that become part of my life as well. And that's where the thought of deep in conversation comes from because often we want to say something to someone or capture a moment in life and a nice way of doing it is through a piece of art that starts other conversations in your home with other people and people can tell you what they see, which we were just discussing what people see in a painting I may have done for them is completely different what I saw as to what other people see. So that's where this is. But I also wanted to say um, thank you so much guys for being there for me and encouraging me and allowing me to show here because it's beautiful and also understanding where I come from as a person as well, which has been really special, and crazy conversations about really stupid things on the phone as well. <laughs> so enjoy it, and if you want to hear about any of the paintings, just give me a hoi, and I will talk about what I see in my work, or you can tell me what you see in my work. So thank you. Just before we finish, does anyone have a special question? Oh, yes, I would like to ask Janine, have something we've been thinking. <laughs> What's for dinner tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There we go. Thank you. I'll be brave. Be um, brave. I, I was wondering how long would it take you to paint a piece that big? Well, I'm in the luxury of, because um, my brain works really 
is in. I normally, um, and there's lots of, in my work, I normally start painting down flat and build up layers of colour. So I might start five pieces at once on the ground and build up layers where I think that piece is going. And then I will probably work on three or four at a time and they will take as long as they take. Okay. So, and some people could be really smart and say it's taken me 22 years, but um, <laughs> it, it's, it's really a, the journey, the painting is actually, it's when it's finished, it tells me more than when I, you know, like it's sort of, you get to a point and sometimes I used to sh share a studio with Liz off and on and often I'll say, do you think this is finished? And then she'll say no and then I'll go, okay, it is, it is. And I'll keep, keep painting. I'll do the opposite to what everyone says. So yeah, I'm in the luxury of being able to paint quite a few pieces at once. And I think also it builds a body, a connectivity between the pieces as well. When you're having a show hung like this, you kind of can, they kind of talk to each other, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. mm. Good Thank question. You. Good question. Anybody else? When did you get the first passion to say from Wellington? To find, was it young or someone mentioned earlier that you went to art school? So yeah, well, I, 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 well, I was just telling you about the pieces. Why? Um, I um, graduated from graphic art and design in 1981, but I actually had got a, um, a position at RMIT to do fine art. And I, in those days, you did two semesters, so you did like you know, four months and four months, and that was your first year. And I did the first semester, and um, I loved it. You know, everyone was really groovy and hippie-ish. I thought, yes, it's really me. And my father said to me one day, he goes, so what are you going to do when you finish? And I said, I'm going to be an artist, a really famous artist. And he goes, but what are you going to live on? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I was really taken aback. And when I went back, that start of that second semester, he had taken me out of fine art and had put me into graphic art and design, which at that point in time, I thought, how could you do that to me? But I actually, in doing graphic art and design, I learnt a bigger picture to painting, which was to tell a story in a medium that I understood. So um, didn't, I didn't have to write anything or sing anything or work out a maths thing. I could actually tell, communicate one thought on a canvas or whatever that um, told a story. And it led me to work in advertising for 18 years before I started mm -hmm. painting. And in that, I, that's what I did, was tell people stories, if it was on TV or whatever, and it's just naturally translated to painting on canvases, because I love the idea of us taking something into our home, and it allows other people, as I said before, to start a conversation with them. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Nothing else? Have you ever paint something that you can't ever think you can't get rid of, or sell? <laughs> oh well, I, you know, it's, it's interesting because, and I was just telling these guys, when I paint a body of work, there's always one painting that really sits in me that I think I don't want to sell. And I used to tell the gallery owners which one that was. <laughs> and now I don't because that painting was always the last one to sell. So, which is bizarre, mm -hmm. that's why I haven't told you. Um, but the, uh, not very often, I, I have, I must say, I've been really fortunate that my work has always managed to find a home. Um, there's only been a few that I've sort of, I guess, retired, but not a lot, I'm proud to be able to say, so yes. And the opposite, you don't, you haven't started painting, you just, I've got to get rid of it, don't finish it? No, 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 oh, look, that, that's not true. I actually have a painting at home that I started and I was, I um, overworked it. Cause, and it, it taught me to sit back, but now I use it to practice different colors on and stick stuff on and just sort of there like a massive palette really. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. And a lot of your paintings have couples in it. Is that like a personal story for you? Oh, uh, yes and no. Um, I'm single at the moment, but um, and but I think to me that you can have a conversation with yourself, but I think conversations are best shared with others, and often the intimacy of having relationship with one other person, whether it's male, female, child, dog, or an, or any animal, is um, a partnership in itself. Mm -hmm. Or it can also be conversations with yourself, even though the other person is embodied in a different body. If that makes sense. 
that, yeah. Mm -hmm. But kind of it's all about love, romance, that's what I paint about. It's just living, as I said, life with your heart on your sleeve. So, yeah, yeah. You want to ask a question, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd love to know, you know, the story behind this because this has a completely different flavour. Yeah. To, to a lot of the others, and it yeah. feels very um, embracing and sweet. Yeah. Um, I love painting birds, and this painting's about that um, creating a home, and the home is like um, birds in my case, as I said, are messengers, and they tr translate from any time, or life, or country, or whatever. They can talk, bring you messages. And this one's about um, feeling totally embraced and safe mm. in a home. And that bird's created a nest that spun of all the different precious, precious, precious metals. And he's just gathered little um, flowers that are like um, the moments in time that they're keeping special. Mm. All that treasure. You know, like some of them look like everlasting. Yeah, yeah. No, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. It's a few, this, one, this is my favorite. Oh, thank you. Mm. Yeah. I, love yeah. well, I love painting birds. And just that they're kind of to me is a one creature that can be can go everywhere that we can't do unless we can buy an airline mm. ticket or <laughs> go on a boat or go mm. on a submarine mm. they kind of can travel everywhere so oh, yeah. and just the safety of that yeah. So, yeah. Mm. thank you so much oh, thank you yeah it's beautiful well thank you so much to me and uh, i think we should all give a clap yeah. Yay! Yay. 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 Yay.